Let's go. All right, guys. Um, welcome to our surprise pop-up AMA. I know we've been silent for the past uh, couple of weeks and obvious reasons for that, but thank you guys for joining in and listening, whether you're live or you're going to be listening to this today, tomorrow, or a year from now, doesn't matter. Um, thanks for tuning in. So, <clears throat> obviously, the first iteration of the Da Vinci launch didn't go as planned um, with all the bot issues and the liquidity issues and everything else that happened uh, kind of really stopped the project in its tracks and obviously didn't pan out the way anybody wanted it to. Right. So that was a very stressful situation, not just for us, but for obviously for everybody involved and, and you guys as well. So, you know, I'm not going to go into the full details again of, of what happened and how it happened. If you really want to know and you don't know, you can just read back through some of the pin posts and the telegram. And I laid it out there in, in a lot of um, messages so you can read through that. But the important thing to focus on is that we are pretty much headed for a relaunch. And there are obstacles in the terms of the strategy for how we want to relaunch, right? And the reason why there are obstacles is because it would be very, very easy for me to just deploy a contract out there, call it whatever I want to call it, whether it's DaVinci or DaVinci V2 or whatever, and supply liquidity and just be like, all right, guys, well, here's everyone's allocation and good luck. Like, that's not our style. If, if, we, if we can't do it right, don't do it at all, right? That's kind of like a, that's kind of a motto that, um, exists and i'm kind of like using that um in reference to to a relaunch as well so so we've been we've been strategizing right we've been like all right cool like if we do it this way there's going to be x y and z type of negatives if we do it that way there's going to be those positives and those negatives so it's pretty challenging and we want to make sure we we do it in a way where it kind of brings as much value as it possibly can i don't want it just to be a flop or anything that is kind of like just a desperation hail mary to be like hey guys well here it is and good luck and you know, we're out type of shit. Like that's not what we want to do. So what we were going to be discussing is kind of some of the options that we've came up with so far. Um, some of the options that we want to do moving forward. And, uh, honestly, I'm not going to be pressured by anybody to, to rush. Um, I, we rushed the first time and we saw how that turned out. So we're not going to rush and we're going to do shit a little bit better, a little bit different. So, we, we, we came up with one option that kind of really like sticks out out of the bunch. And I'll talk about that one right now. It's called the hybrid 404 launch relaunch plan, which is what we, what we're calling it. So what that means is it pretty much, it, it explores the best options for, for the relaunch in terms of a hybrid, right? Which prioritizes the ERC 20 standard over the ERC 404 standard, but is still a 404 at the root of it. Um, the, the, the thing that this approach would do was basically remove the high gas fees that everybody saw. Like, I, I remember, I remember seeing people trying to hop in on the launch and they were like, all right, well, it's like two, three, four, even in some cases, $500 of gas because of, of the 404 model. And, you know, obviously that has to do with them receiving an NFT, um, and not having the option to be like, all right, cool. Like I can exempt myself from receiving the NFT, but here's a button that I could go and press at any time that I want. And it'll, it'll mint the NFT that I'm supposed to get. So, um, it kind of auto exempts people uh, from receiving the NFT, unless you want the NFT, then you can go and claim it. And that would incur a second secondary gas cost that you wouldn't have to pay upfront just for grabbing the token, which in the first contract, that's how it was, right? If you mint the token, you automatically get the NFT as well. Uh, in the hybrid version that I'm talking about right now, you would go and grab the token. But if you don't want to get the NFT just yet, you don't have to, but whenever you do want it, you can go and pretty much press a button on, on our website or on the contract, then boom, it'll just mint it into your wallet for you. So that'll, that will, um, dramatically reduce the gas fees. So 
that's one of the relaunch options that we want to explore going with and kind of, you know, being able to change it up in a little bit in this way, uh, we'll be able to be more or less a ERC 20 plus a 404 token at the root of it. So it's kind of a different angle and I think it'll be a little bit better, but Realistically, e even with all of the development stuff aside and with all of the extra, um, you know, quirks and stuff that come with these 404 contracts, all that stuff aside, the most important thing is going to have to be how do we create hype back into bringing demand, right? So it's like if we release something right now and relaunch it and there isn't that hype factor and that there isn't that demand, then we're just going to have the same issue that we did Um you know, once the hype died down here and everybody realized that, you know, like the, the bots have pretty much tainted the, the, the launch. So realistically, we can avoid that whole bot stuff now by by doing it in, in a way where we supply liquidity and, and, you know, send tokens to people that are obviously invested in V1 right now. So we wouldn't have to worry about the bot factor but the second thing that comes up is the the hype factor at uh, the demand factor and it in when that question arises what another thing that we've been talking about is is a is a rebrand necessary should we still go with the da vinci mo uh, model should we still stick with the same concept the same logo the same name the same artwork or should we go and pretty much just start from scratch right new name, new logo, uh, new narrative, all that. So that creates another loophole in, in the system, right? Where, where we're kind of um, fighting an uphill battle on trying to decide what we want to do, um, which is why I asked the community what you guys would think that you'd want to see out of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Take a sip of my water. Um, which is why we asked the community what you guys would want to see moving forward. If you guys would want to see the Da Vinci uh, name be resurrected and the narrative resurrected, because realistically, I still believe in in the concept. I still very highly believe in it being a successful concept, um, especially with all the people that we had pitched it to and all the people that were supposed to be involved. Um, you know, they all loved it. The the future of everything looked amazing before you know the the actual launch happened and we we realized that it was jotted from the beginning because of 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 all the bots that got in and kind of used the 404 standard to drain the liquidity and for anybody that doesn't understand simply put this is how it works right so with the 404 standard there are bands different bands in which the lp is is set and it, each band dictates a price, right? So let's say band one is $100, band two is $300, and band four is $500, right? Uh, if it stays in those bands, then that is what the price will be. When it pat, when when the supply of tokens in those bands are gone and they're pretty much minted out, then it goes into price discovery, right? So it, if it goes past the last band, which let's say it's $500, goes past that sells out, then it could go all the way up to infinity. But what had happened is if it goes to the last band, which is $100 and it goes below that, it can't, the price technically can't go lower than $100 or whatever that band is telling you, right? So uh, the price is fixated on what the band and the token supply dictate. So, when the bots got in in the beginning, they pretty much bought on band one, band two, and then when they reached band three and they started offloading, um, what what pretty much happened is there is only a certain amount of liquidity, but the price not being able to move down and it be in a linear structure with the liquidity uh, just meant pretty much that like, hey, okay, cool, the price stays at one hundred dollars, but if there's you know a hundred thousand dollars of liquidity in there, but there's a uh, Three hundred thousand dollars worth of tokens, then people could just oversell it, and that way the liquidity to price ratio doesn't fluctuate, and that's that's how the liquidity pool ended up becoming uh, pretty much nothing, is because the price of the token wouldn't go down, which is a good thing and also a bad thing, which we saw how it could be bad. <clears throat> so moving forward, I don't think we're gonna have a structured band. 
um, even though that's how a lot of the 404 uh, structure is. I don't think we're going to do another structured ban because, uh, I mean, we saw the downside of it and we saw the complete negative of what can happen by having that. Um, or if we do have it, it's going to be a very thin band where it wouldn't be able to mimic what just happened before on the first time. So, you know, keep that in mind as well. It will be more of a, a free float, free price discovery type of token where, it, you know, it would be more or less using the same tech as the 404, except it won't be fixated at a certain price if it dips below that certain threshold of of, of LP or, or supply in the LP. So that's, that's another thing that we have to be focused on. But also another big thing is being able to kind of engage with the community like I, I i've been stressed out obviously with this launch and trying to figure out a million and a half things trying to fix things and not being able to spend time talking to people like i normally do i obviously have a lot of um uh, social experience with with our communities and with our projects and after seeing this and the stress that came along with it i kind of just like stopped looking at my telegram and just went into like uh a a a mode where I was like, all right, cool. We just have to figure out what the next move is. And I felt like telegram was a huge distraction, um, in terms of, you know, me keeping my focus on what needed to be done. Realistically, a lot of devs at this point would have just been like, all right, guys, well, if they fucked up and we're not doing anything about it because we, I mean, what's there to do, right? That's what most devs would say. Uh, that's what most teams would say. That's what most communities would say. But, you know, us being who we are, we understand that, you know, it wasn't the prettiest of, of things that happened and that's not our style. And we want to make sure we can at least try to rectify things and try to make things better, if if not even better than what we initially intended. So that that's kind of like the style that we like to go, go with. And then obviously we want to, uh, shift a lot of focus back into our our main projects as well. You know, DaVinci being a, a, a 404 experimental like exper uh, project that we kind of dove into and something that we really believed into, uh, it definitely has and had a lot of potential, but there was a reason why I didn't include it into the Shiba Doji ecosystem. I remember a lot of people were asking me also, oh, this is the ecosystem ecosystem. I said, no, this is a standalone. And the reason why I, I, I would say that at the very beginning was because <clears throat> it being an experimental thing, I, I, I knew that there could be um, a bunch of risks just like everybody knew, right? So I wanted to make sure that we can actually um, solidify it, make it, make it as big as we wanted it to before I introduced it and merged it into the ecosystem, which is, you know, part of the reason why, uh, all these 404 fads and, and stuff kind of, kind of died down over the past coming week, a uh, couple of weeks is honestly, the market moves fast, man. The market moves in a way where, uh, people are into th something for, for three days and then and then it's completely dead and they're into the next thing and that that's just how it's been working over the past like few weeks and I've been observing it and it doesn't make any sense to me but um, that's that's what people have been doing which is why I also ask the the Solana question in the poll like would you guys want to see us on Solana well, would would there be a upside of you know maybe doing a, a multi-bridge token where we launch on ERC and we also launch on Solana as well. Um, you know, the, there are different options that we've been exploring, but realistically right now it's, it's full, full steam ahead into just kind of redeveloping a, a launch plan, strat, a launch plan slash strategy and being able to bring demand and hype back to what we want to relaunch. And, on top of that, the number one priority is to, you know, make sure we got the backs of the people that are already in the first project. So that's kind of more or less the update that I have at the moment. You know, I just want everyone to understand that I'm not going anywhere. I'm here. I'm literally, I'm literally here every single day reading things every day, just because I haven't talked or had an AMA over the past uh, couple of weeks doesn't mean, doesn't mean I've closed up shop or, you know, I'm exploring different opportunities or anything like that. I'm literally just zoned in trying to figure out what the best 
next steps are. And I understand that there's a lot of people that, that rely on um, some of the decisions that I make and a lot of people that rely on the community that we have here. So, you know, it's, it's uh, kind of a little pressuring uh, situation, but the diamonds are made under pressure. So we're, we're pretty much going to be doing everything in our power to, to see what we can do to make things right, rectify things. And, and if it doesn't work, the, it doesn't work, but if it works, it's going to work very, very well. But realistically, the, the the most important thing is making sure we do it, and and we are going to do it. But with that said, I'm open to anybody's questions. So if you guys have a serious question, you know, feel free to ask. If you guys are going to ask something troll or stupid, then just save it because I'll probably just kick you. Well said, Leo. We appreciate all your work, man. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, Johnny. Yeah, man. I, you know, the, I, I don't like letting people down, bro. That's my number one thing, especially my crypto family. Like you guys have been here with, with us for um, pushing on to three years now. And, you know, it just it's not a good feeling, man. We, 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 we do things, um, you know, from the bottom of our heart and we do things for the right reasons. And sometimes things, most times things go well and things go right. And, you know, obviously can't go right every single time. And this is one of the times where, uh, we saw a failure and, and realistically, you know, we, we want to man up to it and no excuses, no bullshit. Like, you know, the, the reason why things happen are, are all out there. Uh, it's all on the blockchain. Uh, you know, we're not, we don't have anything to hide and we just want to rectify it. See if we can make up for it and make things better and see if we can push this shit to the moon some way, somehow. And we're going to, we're going to give it our best shot. Uh, hi. Uh, first of all, uh, thank for your for your effort and uh, being here with us. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, I have a question. Uh, if you could elaborate more, a little bit more, maybe about this hybrid for for uh, approach. Method, but uh, frankly speaking, when I heard about the ideas, I was thinking about what are the main features that we actually want to have. The the, right. uh, the top of the release and the idea, and uh, thinking of that, maybe it's uh, it's a different narrative we should follow. But if you could uh, give some more information about this hybrid approach that you were talking about, thank you. Yeah, of course, man. Good question. So um, the hybrid approach would pretty much so so everything that that we had explained over um, in the past about how the 404s work would still all apply. Nothing would change. The only difference with the hybrid approach is when you buy tokens on Uniswap, right, on the chart, you wouldn't automatically be given the NFT that comes with it. You would have to go and manually. Um, uh, get the NFT yourself, right? Whether that's uh, interacting with, with the contract or using our front end on the website to like click a button and mint your NFT. Um, the reason why uh, we even thought of doing that is because it would pretty much remove a lot of the gas fee. Like, I don't know how much percent of it, but a significant, significant amount of the gas fee would be removed by doing that. Um, and for anybody who wants to, get the nft they could do it immediately after they get the token right they just need to go to the website or the contract and click the button where it says mint and mint it and it would it, then it would be like okay cool this is what the gas fee would cost you for just the nft itself uh previously when you minted a token or bought a token uh and you got an nft you would incur a gas fee for the token and the nft and you wouldn't be able to pick or choose between it you would you would have to if you want the transaction to go through, you'd have to pay the gas for both of them. Uh, with the hybrid approach, you'd only have to pay the gas for the token side. And if you want, if you still want the NFT, you can go ahead and uh, just claim it and, and pay for the uh, gas separately for that. Uh, a big reason for, for going that route is there are a lot, what we noticed is there are a lot of investors that just don't care about the NFT, right? They just care about like, hey, I'm, I want to buy this, I want the price to go up, and then I want to sell it, and I want to make profit, right? Like some regular token investor type people. And then obviously the people who are interested in the NFTs will still have full full capabilities and the option of you know interacting with their NFT and minting it, uploading their artwork, 
um then obviously we would still stick with the whole plan of you know having having famous artists and, and people that collaborate and make their own art as well but realistically the hybrid approach is exactly the same as what what you know, we had explained the first time, except now you have the option of exempting yourself from getting the NFT. Okay, thank you for the answer. If, if uh, I may uh, <laughs> add another question, actually, because uh, hearing hearing about the, the approach, I was thinking, so, so which aspects actually of four we want to use and which are the most valuable for for this project and uh, frankly speaking hearing you about the ideas and the approach i was thinking that maybe it's not exactly what we need so four or four is not, not maybe the necessarily the best standard that we want to follow but uh, my question actually is uh, different I was. I wanted to ask you about uh, how how ready we are with the launching the minting uh, feature, so AI uh, generation of the pictures uh, uh, and stuff. Because I think that if if anyone actually is interested in the NFT aspect of that, is in the AI narrative, the creating some 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 beautiful images uh, and everything else. So is is there any possibility that the relaunch this feature will be already in place? Uh, that, very good question. So the functionality and the the artwork generator that we've put together is actually functional, and we've used it and made multiple pieces of of art with it currently. Uh, so yeah, it is something that you know can come out pretty much whenever we decide to to release it. Um, the only the only thing that we'd have to do is pretty much um, link link the APIs with our, our our website and just have it work together so every, everybody can just you know go to our website and um, generate it through that. The only other thing that needs to be ready for uh, in terms of being able to to deploy uh, you know the the AI with the the project would be to kind of code and finalize the the, the wallet connect function so that people who are actual holders can connect and, and the website and the AI will be able to, you know, determine that, okay, you're the true owner of that token and whatever artwork you make would be connected to, to that specific NFT ID or token ID. Um, and that, that's pretty much the only final thing that needs to be built. And that's something that we were building, uh, you know, that right after we launched and then when all these complications happened, we had all of our devs kind of just, you know, uh, halt everything and try to focus on, you know, being on, on the same page with us, trying to figure out how to fix things. Uh, originally, first, we wanted to see how we can fix the bot problem, the liquidity problem, and then we very quickly realized that, okay, it's not something that, that we can fix on our end. It's just something that uh, has to play out and it, Obviously, everybody saw it play out. So, so that's the only thing that would need to be fixed. It would need to it would need to be uh, updated with the Web three side of things, so that the AI and your wallet will be able to communicate between each other, so that when you do create artwork, uh, it, it actually gets uploaded to to the NFT or the token ID that you own. But but the the generator is is already uh, fully ready, uh, all functional, ready to go. Okay, thank you for the answer. So if I may, sorry guys, I may build on that. Because when I'm, maybe I'm ignorant, especially on the dev side, but when I'm thinking about the most valuable features of the forum, is actually sharing some piece of art with anyone else. So when you said hybrid approach or, or hybrid launch, I was thinking about that maybe the idea behind it is that we should launch it as a usual NFT project, and then with the most valuable ones or most wanted ones, you could launch a, a feature when someone can buy a piece of art, actually, and uh, have an um, opportunity to, to use it somehow. And um, that, was, that, that was actually brought my questions to you. Thank you, Leo. That actually... I'm very glad you said that because that actually makes a little bit of sense to me. So I'm going to write that down real quick. Give me one second. Uh, 
Um, that's actually not a bad idea, my friend. That's pretty much pretty much what I'm saying, except the opposite way around. And that might that might have some traction to it. So I'm going to I'm going to actually theorize around that and and try to see that's not a bad idea, brother. I'm I'm actually going to be thinking about that for a little bit today. Glad to throw a um, uh, rock into your garden. Holiday dreaming again? Find the perfect flight for you. Booking.com, booking dot. Holiday matches your shots. Kira, now you're hot mic. And I'll be. Uh, somebody's hot micing. They're watching yeah. something interesting, though. I, it was like <laughs> a drama, a TV drama. Or <laughs> oh, man. Um, on another note, guys, I know a lot of the people in here are uh, Shiba Doge investors and, and Burn and pretty much our whole ecosystem. So uh, while I have everybody here, uh, I do want to share that, you know, we are putting together a, sec a secondary um, plan uh, for for a big marketing push on both the Shiba Doge token and pretty much the NFT side of things and pretty much our whole ecosystem. So. Uh, there, there are some things that we've been doing in the background that we haven't even talked about and, and um, even announced. But, you know, for anybody who pays attention to what's going on on the blockchain, you could see that we're uh, starting to bridge over to different layer twos. Um, we've bridged over to uh, base today, which is a pretty up and uh, pretty up and coming uh, popular uh layer two that's been popping off over the past few hours and days, which is pretty much Coinbase. So um, we've successfully been able to bridge over to, to base and we've successfully been over uh, able to bridge over to, was it Arbitrum? I don't think it was Arbitrum. What, which one was it? But anyway, um, we're, we're, we're starting to expand on that end and there's going to be a marketing push for pretty much the entire ecosystem of things as well. So we're putting together a budget for that. We're putting together a plan for that. We're putting together um, just a, a, a nice nice list of catalysts and a, uh, a nice um, roadmap, uh, internal roadmap that we're going to follow as, as uh, for our marketing plan. And realistically, uh, I put a poll in the Shiba Doge uh, Telegram the other day. I was asking, you know, what people think about the taxes going to zero or 1% or whatever, just so, you know, we can have uh, the maximum... Um, traction when we when we actually do market and we had some pretty good responses on that but obviously like you know shiba doge is shiba doge and the tokenomics are it's tokenomics so if we do change it to zero uh that would only be a temporary thing and that would be kind of just you know to to be able to uh push it to new levels and attract new people because right now it seems like the whole meta and everybody following these metas are are following zero tax tokens or very low tax tokens and you know shiba doge not being a very low tax token kind of stayed out of that meta and um i believe we can probably you know garner a little bit of attention by by playing with those numbers a little bit uh, along with um a nice little marketing push because there's a there's a great distribution now at this point a lot of the whales have been um or not have been, but are out, and there's a lot of room for for the project to grow, and the liquidity pool is obviously extremely healthy, sitting at, I believe, two million dollars or five hundred ETH or something like that, um, three yeah, million dollars of liquidity. Mil, yeah. yeah, yeah, three million dollars of liquidity. So the project is primed. The project is it's a stable coin at this point, which is a good thing. That just means that um, it it's found its floor. It's new. It's its floor is there. And realistically, with a with a big push and some volume, this thing can literally go back to all time high. And I don't see that being a, a hard feat to accomplish, considering you know all of the efforts and the narrative and everything behind the project and especially now you know people are missing shiba and they're missing doge again you know so so here's shiba doge uh helping people out again for the people that missed shiba again so <laughs> um 
<laughs> so yeah, man. That, there's we have a look, guys. For everybody listening, we have a lot of work ahead of us. Like not just not just in one project, but in all of our projects. And uh, I, I couldn't think of a better team to be able to to do this with than than our entire team together. So I just want to make sure that everyone understands that we're not just do not doing anything. Uh, a lot of a lot of the hiatus and a lot of the pause happened from the issues that we've had with the Da Vinci launch. And that, that kind of threw me off my boat, threw me into a little bit of a depression. By no means was I like happy with the outcome. Uh, for if anyone thinks like, I don't care or anything like that, you're wrong. Uh, it really, it really fucked me up. Right. So we, you know, we want to make sure that, you know, we can rectify that first, but in whatever way we can get the relaunch going, get people, hyped up again, get people happy again, and then boom, just push everything to the moon. That's it, bro. That's it. Yo, Adam Shelton in the house, man. How you doing, Adam? Nice to see you, bro. That is the real Adam Shelton, right? Probably. He's probably just listening. I yeah. know he's probably doing a million and a half things too. It's meme season, baby. Yeah, man. He's been busy. I've been uh, watching him. It's been busy, man. Um, so, I, I could put another poll together, man. So, for anybody that doesn't know, um, the Solana network requires zero dev work. Any one of you guys can literally just go and launch a Solana project, right? There's zero dev work involved. All the contracts are all the same. Pretty much just name a contract, you name a token, you launch it, and that's it. It's as simple as that. While everybody is waiting for the relaunch, if you guys want some fun in the Telegram or something, what I can do to keep everybody busy is it, literally do like a super quick DJ and like Solana token for people to just see what the fuck happens with. I don't care to do it. If people want me to do it, I will. If they don't, then I won't. But realistically... Bro. I was gonna to talk to you about that. That would be a, that's a great idea, man. Because I was I was gonna actually um, talk to you about that. Like, let's do some uh, degens, bro. Because they're lacking trustworthy devs, man. You know, they're lacking. I mean, every single token that's coming out is rugging. I think if you was to just launch a different one just for fun, bro, and they know it's a serious dev team who are not gonna rug it, I think you'll do good, man. Seriously? Yeah, well, see, the thing is, like, I don't want people to be like, oh, he's just launching projects, this, that. I'm just saying just to keep people busy, if that's what they want to do, I could definitely, I could definitely do that. But yeah, for sure. I get it, man. It's, <laughs> it's like, um, there's a lot of hype there and, you know, the, there's opportunity for people in this community to be able to make money with, with that kind of an idea, um, you know, that. I'm open to it as well. So, if you guys want yeah. to do, if you guys want me to do some DJ and shit like that, just in the meantime while we're waiting for the whole relaunch and everything to come out, um, I will do it. Just you know, yeah. see. But just make restriction we... that that is only for like three, four hours, maybe twenty hours, not more, because uh, everything on Solana and you can check it on the deck screener. Everything pops up pumps and dies so uh for people not to moan too much uh i mean uh i i'd beg to differ bro um one of my one of my close friends that i actually hang out with on you know a couple times a month he's he's launched a project on solana like three days ago and and it's sitting at like almost 100 mil market cap so yeah i beg to differ yeah, I agree with you, Leo. Most of the ones that are up and dumping is the dev teams are not. Uh, they disappear. They disappear. Yeah, bro. I'm I, sorry. It's not a. It's not a hundred mil market cap. I just checked it. It's thirty four mil market cap, and he launched it on the seventeenth. So yeah, three days ago. Yeah. Six, the main thing 16th, is. Sixteenth. I'm sorry. Four days the, ago. The main thing is on Solana because I did go and check it out because there's so so many people were talking about it. The main thing is. As soon as the tokens launch, you need to lock it straight away. It needs to be locked. They want to see the lock sign straight away, and they want deck screener updated straight away. They want the socials on the you know on deck screener. Once them two are on, bro, as soon as you do them, if you're fast, then people just start aping on Solana. You know, that's it. Know. That's all it I is. Know. I know. 
I know. I, I, I literally talked to this guy. He, his project, his project on day one reached a hundred mil market cap. It's thirty mil market cap now on Damn. day four. Uh, yeah, and then he's like literally some dude that doesn't even know how to develop a contract, and nobody knows how to develop a contract on Solana. It's just you just plug it in and start. Like there is no contract yeah. development, which is which, which is why I'm saying like. I could do it real quick in the meantime because I could literally just put our marketing specialists on it, just launch it in two minutes, and then just see what what the hell happens. And you know, maybe some people in this community can make money, uh, and keep people busy and entertained until until our relaunch happens. Bro, did you Sounds see? Like the, fun. <laughs> it's fun. Did you see the one guy, bro? He launched a token, right? And he was he was in the VC, the dev, and he was on video. He's a young guy, bro. He's probably like twenty. And he and he and he had a mask on, and he's like right there, bro. He's like, yeah, guys, we're gonna take this to flipping multi, multi millions and so on. And as he's saying it, you know, the people are aping and aping, bro. Then the man goes like, oh, guys, I just need to have a leak, man. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Uh, when he went for a leak, bro, all of a sudden the whole thing dumps to the floor, and he comes back and he's like, everyone's like, yo, that was you, bro. You just dumped on us, man. <laughs> and it was just funny, man. I was just laughing my head off, bro. Like the devs dumping live in the VC. You know? <laughs> it's DGN Central out there. <laughs> and I was just laughing, man. I was like, when Lambo, when Bugatti, guys? <laughs> I didn't buy it. I was just, I just wanted to know how, how it's all working, you know, what's going on. Because people are so hyped. But Leo, man, it's a great idea. If anyone wants to have fun, then why not? You know. I I mean, yeah. It's look like I just don't want people to to be bored while they wait because, I, like I said, I'm not gonna rush into relaunching this without without the right strategy because I don't want it to just be a double a double failure. You know, like it, I I don't think my heart could take that. <laughs> like I I really don't think my yeah, heart could man. take a double failure. So, yeah. so realistically, like, you know, just to keep people busy and entertained, I'm open to doing it. Um, you never know with, with our connections and with our, our, uh, the people that we have in our group. I mean, we could probably have some fun, stupid DJ and retarded kind of like Solana projects that people are all into now. And then people might have fun and you never know, just like, just like my friends, you could go to a hundred mil in day one, like, uh, just an option just i'm throwing bro, it out there for you guys uh, just imagine it, yeah bro just imagine the one that you put out as a dj and just for fun bro takes off like mad <laughs> that would be crazy you'd be like yo you saying serious guys this is a dj one we're just having a bit of fun and that's the one that goes to like 500 mil or something <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm, I, I, I've seen it happen multiple times over the past couple of days uh, on, on the Solana network, so I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, with a legit dev team who are not going to rug, if people are confident in that, which they will be, obviously, you guys have been around for three years now, nothing's been rugged ever in the three years, you know? If the chart's down, it's so down. The, on, the only thing... That the only thing that got rugged is Da Vinci, and and we didn't even rug it ourselves, dude. Fucking exactly. Jared from Subway and his and his posse got us. Yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> and that's for everyone to see, man. Anyone that can read the contracts and blockchain, they can go and check all that themselves. Um, and I promise, like nobody lost more on Da Vinci than than we did so far. We're we're close to half a million dollars in the hole, just you know, development costs and buybacks and. Uh, paying marketers and all this, all this stuff where it, it was a pretty big hit. So, you know, nobody yeah. lost more than we did. And realistically, I don't care about the money that we lost more than I care about trying to, you know, make things right with, with our community. Cause that's what I care about more. 100% bro. 100%. Hey guys, if you guys got any questions, I know you guys have been asking a lot of questions in the telegram. So, um, like free, for example, is in here free come up, man, come up as you normally have a lot of things to say, just come up and speak. Sorry, bro. Did someone say something? Yeah. And the one, so there's a conversation of three people actually going on. 
also uh, Leo, if you can launch without the, the unnecessary efforts, something on Solana for fun, <laughs> let's just do it. <laughs> it might be crazy. On the other hand, I, I really uh, would like to see that we are progressing on the relaunch because it's an uh, interesting project and I think that uh, future lies in it. So good luck, man, and good luck for all of us. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you, especially you, brother. I, I, I know I haven't really talked to you before, but um, uh, I appreciate the positivity and, and you, you, you seem like you have good vibes around you. So, you know, th that's what I that's what I like seeing in our community. So so thank you for being a good guy and thank you for coming up here and speaking and giving your thoughts. And you actually implanted a good idea in my head today as well. So I'm going to really consider um your idea and kind of you know weigh it against what we've been thinking and it might be something that that works better you never know so i'll keep you posted on that great thank you uh, glad to but anybody have any other questions guys Go on, guys, don't be shy. You can speak. Just unmute and come up and speak. So I know, I know a lot of you guys, you know, uh, got some good ideas. You should just come up and speak, um, you know. Oh, hold on. Sonny has a question. Uh, he just tagged me in the chat. It says, Leo cannot speak, but the marketing plan, does that include gold as well? As he didn't mention it. So, yeah, when, when I talked about Shiba Doge, um, what, what I meant, was the entire ecosystem, but you know, Shiba Doge is the mothership project. So, um, I always, I always mentioned that first, but, but yeah. Sonny's balls deep in gold, bro. Balls deep. <laughs> I know. So, so am I? <laughs> I'm not worried. Yo, you know, is it just me, or are you guys thinking like a lot of the attention is going away from ETH chain to like these layer twos, like like Base and um, maybe not Arbitrum, but but I know Base is popping off right now. Um, obviously, Solana is killing it right now. Obviously, BNB is not doing shit. Uh, they just got overtaken by by Solana, but but these layer twos are like one penny in in gas fees compared to. Thirty, forty dollars on ETH. Yeah, layer twos are gonna be big, bro. Layer twos are gonna. Be I big. think by next, I think by next year, these like layer twos are gonna overtake the meme market, um, or the Dex market at least, just because of the gas fees alone. Yeah, gas is a big issue, you know, and um, layer twos are solving that. So bro, I, I, I was unwrapped. Mm -hmm. I was, I was, um, what was I doing? I was, I was swapping, uh, ETH for, for you. No, I was swapping USDT for ETH the other day. Right. Cause I had to send somebody, um, yeah. ETH and I had USDT in a certain wallet and I only had to send him $40. Right. And I didn't have $40 of ETH in that wallet, but I had USDT. So I'm like, all right, let me swap it over. I went to Uniswap. I I'm trying to swap over $40. It literally costed me like $23. Just to, just to swap it over, That's and I didn't crazy. even have twenty three dollars of ETH in my wallet to process that transaction, so I had to go to my other wallet and, and just send it from there. It's, it's pretty stupid, man. Like these gas fees, ju just for like those small transactions, they're they're not worth it whatsoever. Which is why like these layer twos in Solana are killing it because somebody can invest twenty dollars into something and pay two cents of gas, and they're like, okay, cool. Like my twenty dollars is still twenty dollars. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think um, Vitalik came out and he's like, uh, he's been telling people to to make some layer twos, you know. Uh, yeah, he has, and he actually um, pushed another wallet the other day, um, and I'm gonna try it out. It's called Rabby.io. He was talking about it. Um, and it's supposed to be a lot better than MetaMask. And I, I've been seeing a lot of people talk about it. You could import multiple seed phrases uh, onto one wallet. Uh, your swap is built right into the wallet, so you don't even have to go to Uniswap anymore. 
Uh, um, all of you, MFT. Yeah, Ravi. Yep. Oh yeah, it's a great app. Actually, it's more uh, very safe. Uh, definitely more safe than uh, MetaMask. It, it gives you all the information about contract approvals that you're accepting. Uh, accepting everything. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to actually switch from using MetaMask to using Rabi. So um, here, let me actually link it in the chat for anybody who wants to check it out. So you guys don't go to like a fake link or anything. So you guys could check that out. I, I would recommend looking into it at least. Um, I'm going to use it. I'm going to I'm going to stop using MetaMask and I'm going to start using this. So just, you know. For anybody who cares. Just to, just to add on what you said, uh, actually you can you can use it as a layer two, so you can add MetaMask to it, and you have better uh, security uh, on the contract approvals and everything else. For sure. Uh, somebody has a question in here. Hey, Leo, can't, sorry, can't speak either. Thoughts on this as a backup? Appreciate you guys. The stress must be crazy. Uh, the question was, worst case, if it's, if it's not, if it's going to not be worth it, I vote just airdrop holders equivalent amount of SD or burn or something. Um, yeah, that's, that's obviously a, a question that, um, needs to be thought about more, but realistically, we want to be able to to relaunch and, and, and do it in that route. I, I don't want to do airdrops from other projects to rectify, to rectify it. Uh, yeah, obviously, we don't have to do that. Um, we want to relaunch. We want to make it so that this actually succeeds. And then Alex put it in your disclosure. Leo hasn't tested that yet. I haven't tested Rabbi.io yet. I'm just going based off of the things that I've read and seen. And it looks really, really cool to me. So do your own research. You connect uh, a cold wallet to you, like a treasure. Yeah, you could you could connect your tre treasure, treasure, ledger, whatever. You could have multiple seed phrases. It shows you all of your money on all of the chains. Um, so it's like you know, if you have a Solana chain, BNB chain, an ETH chain, all all of your your seed phrases will be connected. Mm, onto that wallet. So it'll show you your entire net worth without having to like switch wallets or anything. Pretty cool, man. Yeah, I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna check it out, bro. All right, so we'll go ahead and wrap it up here. I know um, people might still have questions and if you do, just, just type it in the chat and we'll figure it out. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, Maybe I will mess around and, and do something for you guys uh, on, on Solana and just launch some DGen shitcoin stuff just to keep people busy and entertained while everyone waits for the relaunch. Um, I mean, we have a pretty decent sized community, so we'll be able to, to uh, at least push some things past the barrier of entry. I, I think Solana has a lot of <laughs> rugs that are happening on it daily right now. So <laughs> realistically, um, we might be able to find some luck there, but just be patient for the relaunch guys. Like I said, I'm not going to rush. We rushed the first time and we saw how that went and, um, we want to make things right. We really, really do. Uh, I've been losing sleep over it and really knocked me off my high horse, but, uh, it is what it is. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And this, this time it was, uh, it wasn't our, our winning shot. It wasn't our winning launch. And, you know, I took it on the chin. Um, I'm taking like a man what happened and, and do my best to rectify it and fix it and relaunch. But in the meantime, maybe we'll have some fun. We'll launch some shit coins. We'll maybe hopefully try to take a couple of them to the moon in the meantime. Uh, they, they don't take long to do one or two days. Like I said, my friend, my friend that launched this project on the 16th and on the 17th, he was already a hundred mil market cap. So it doesn't okay. take, doesn't take long and I don't need to get my developers involved. Um, there's no dev work on Solana. It just literally put together a website, put together. A, that's it. That's literally it. Yeah. Uh, J a eight said, um, to call Le Leo wifey. All right, do this. Spend the next couple hours um, giving me some cool names and ideas in the chat, and I'll pick the best one, and we'll go with that. Why don't we? Why don't we yeah. Go ahead. Oh, hi. Sorry. 
I had a question. Um, if you launch something on Solana, are you going to post that in here or would that be like in a different? Um, I might, I might, I don't know. I might post it in here. Like, like you mean the buy bot and stuff or what? Oh no. Just like whatever project you're doing. Like you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Of course. I won't, I won't keep it a secret from you guys. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. Hey guys, can I have a last question? Yeah, of course. Yeah, so first of all, I appreciate Laro. Everything you are doing is great, you rock. Uh, my question would be like, can you elaborate on the Shiba Doge marketing campaign or the ecosystem? Because I remember like two years ago, the really cool, like great borders, like tables near the Silicon Valley or we, we did some really great shit in terms of marketing. So are you planning to do something like that? Or do we have any information regarding that? So yeah, man, um, a lot of the marketing that we did in the, uh, in the beginning times was, was a lot of guerrilla marketing and a lot of just um, vir viral stuff. So whatever viral was happening, we were kind of like jumping on that boat and we were finding a lot of success with it. So I'm gonna just kind of like replicate that. Um, we have a lot of good marketing content that we've actually built um, over the past year and that, that we've been keeping in, in our database as storage, like, you know, whether it's creative content or, or videos and, and just stuff that we haven't released publicly yet because we wanted to just have a lot of arsenal and a lot of firepower for, for when we, when we do actually start guerrilla marketing again. So realistically, the same kind of aggression that you saw in the beginning with our marketing strategies is, is what we're going to want to go with again. Um, and that that's that's typically worked for us before in the past and we're going to try to make it work for us again moving forward i know it's a lot different now than what it was in 2022 and 21 but uh, the core fundamentals stay the same and especially now i've been seeing a lot of um interest um from instagram there's a lot of a lot of content from crypto that's going viral on instagram so uh you know expect to see a lot of instagram content as well and possibly us uh uh, pushing our Instagram page and trying to make that more popular with reels and and videos and posts and things of that nature as well. Nice, sounds cool. Thank you. And uh, just a quick reminder that we we are with you. We trust you guys. So just keep on doing, and it's gonna be amazing eventually. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. But we don't ever want to do bad by anyone. And, you know, I'm taking it like a man. I'm not here making excuses or anything. Didn't go the way that we planned, Da Vinci. But we're going to we're going to try to make things better. We're going to try to we're going to try to do what we can. Um, sorry, I had a, a really quick uh, question. Um, and I and I don't know if you guys mentioned this. Are you planning with the relaunch to still do like an ERC 404 type? thing or yeah. would it potentially okay it, it it would be a it would be a hybrid if we if we right now we're talking about a 404 hybrid which okay. would be an ERC20 but it gives you the option to to be a 404 as well so you could just like press a button on our website or on the contract and it will turn your your holdings into a 404 so it'll mint you an NFT at your own will um, okay. it won't automatically mint it just when you okay. like get a token right yeah. And then I did have a, a cool idea in regards to an NFT collection that could possibly be something for the relaunch. Should I message you directly or just, um, I didn't want to like publicly share it in, yeah. in the whole yeah, community. Just, sh just shoot me a DM. Okay. Okay. Perfect. I will do that. Awesome. Thank All you. Right. Okay. No problem. Thank okay. you. Someone is a D D's coins. <laughs> D D's coin, huh? Yeah, the, the the crazy thing with the Solana shit is so our, our number one thing that we spent the most time on on all of our projects is is development work, right? Um because we, we like to make our contracts from scratch and then we like to test them and then we want to triple test them and quadruple test them and make sure nothing is broken. And that takes the most amount of time out of our out of our um, like development process. With Solana, uh, that, that doesn't exist. So I can, I, we could literally do like as many as we want in no time, right? So uh, 
give me your best creative idea and let's get everybody on board and let's let's try to launch the stupidest the dumbest stupidest funniest shittiest most stupid shit coin that we could think of on solana and see if it hits see if it hits a fucking billion dollar market cap just for no reason you know just because like the rest of these tokens are hitting billion dollar market caps for no reason so i actually have um two things uh first thing i guess i'll mention is uh i'm also like for dev work like i've done some solana devving if i mean if y'all need some uh like help in that type of thing because it kind of does suck i will say like um in terms of like other more complex things i'll I'll say um but the second question i had is like if there was any like thought about base i've just seen like a lot of like talk yep, about, about it there also, is and... we actually we actually just uh bridged shiba dojo over to base today um and we're gonna we it was a test bridge and it went successful so so yeah i'm aware of base and base is catching a lot of traction right now so so that's definitely on our radar to be able to be on base as well because like i was i mean i was wondering if like yeah because these are a lot cheaper there like gas is like not even a problem on there and it's still like evm base is what i was thinking so i'm not sure how much technical lift it would be like if you wanted to relaunch there i guess maybe ETH is still the plan here but yeah i was just throwing that out there yeah for sure for sure man um eth is still the plan uh realistically we want to stick to eth because that's where people are, are right now or at least our community that, that initially invested but wherever we can find the most value wherever we can find the ability to deliver the most value back to people is, is what we're going to go with like i said i i'm not going to rush because the first time we rushed and and we saw where you know that led us so so we're just gonna we're gonna do things right man um so i'm not gonna jump to conclusions and say we're going to base or bnb or whatever because you know right now the plan is to stick on eth um but in the meantime we're gonna have some fun um i think that's something that'll lighten everybody up just having a really stupid uh shit coin meme coin just for people to laugh laugh it out and kind of just you know um people can see how good our marketing actually is because we do have a lot of really really good marketers a lot and we didn't get a chance to actually use them so this will be a display of our of our powers to show you guys like it doesn't matter what the contract is it could be the stupidest thing but watch how i can make it viral because i do have that team Sounds good. I mean, let me know if you do want to, like, I can uh, DM you as well if you want to know about some of, like, Solana tips and tricks. Uh, yeah, kind of definitely. Chain, I will Hit say. me up. <laughs> Hit me up. Hit me up. Send me a DM, bro. I'm just going to go grab some food right now after this, so if I don't reply to you immediately, it's because I'm eating, and then I'll, I'll check it out here in a little bit. Yeah, sounds like fun, bro. Sounds like we're going to have some fun. Yes, sir. We're going to have some fun, baby. Sorry, I had <laughs> one more question. Um, is there something like the ERC-404 on the Solana blockchain? Like, I don't... I don't I think so. Anything. Um, I don't, there I don't think so. There actually is. There actually is. Is there? Um, yeah, it's, it's like a token 2022. It's a new standard you can add extensions. I think if you look at the project called Ghost, um, there's a few others as well that are popular, but I know Ghost is one of those examples where it is both a uh, token and the uh, like NFT. Mm, okay. Interesting. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, guys. Yo, I'm gonna get off and go grab some food with my wife, and then um, I'm gonna be back, and we'll we'll talk a little bit about what the what the stupidest shit coin we could think of is, and then maybe tomorrow or the next day we'll launch it and have some fun with everybody. Okay, great. Great, thank you. All right, guys. Thank hey, you thank you. you very, very much. I appreciate everyone's constructive feedback and appreciate everyone's understanding. And um, like I said, again, sorry for not being around for the past two weeks on AMAs or anything like that, but I'm here, not going anywhere. We're going to kill it, just like the plan always has been. Awesome. Yeah, bro. Thanks.
Let's All right. do that. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. All right. Peace out. Thanks, yeah, man. Love, peace. Thank you. Love you guys. Later. Thank you. Bye. Latest. Live stream stopped, guys. 